Hey everybody, welcome back to DuffyPower.com. I'm Dean Sharp, the house whisperer uh, from KFI AM640, and I'm here with Pete Thornton. Pete is uh, Duffy's Ask Pete. He's the Duffy Answer Man. We just got done talking about the size potential of portable generators, everything from tractor trailer size generators you can actually stand inside, all the way down to generators like this here, Pete. This is a whole house residential generator. Absolutely. In fact, we're actually in uh, the backyard of one of your clients, and this was just installed this morning, I hear. Fresh and new. So tell us about this, and is this a, a, an ideal installation? It absolutely is. This is a perfect installation here. Just the right clearance from the property line, plenty of clearance around the generator to be able to service it properly. Just to the left here is our, or to the right here is our automatic transfer switch, which tells the generator to come on when power goes off, and then again to shut it off when power comes back on. It's installed fairly close to the natural gas pipe, so it's the perfect install. Can we look inside? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Very good. Wow, this is really clean and nice. It's a beautiful unit here. All right, give me a tour. Pete. Sure. Here's your engine to it, generator in the back. Here's your simple digital control panel. So it's a very nice, selfly contained unit, easy to service, and you can have our company set up to do that service for you, or you can maintain a lot of it yourself. So it's a simple install here for the control panel to start and stop, or it'll do it automatically. So this is not, this is a, a, a manual start and stop switch. Yes, this yes. is not anything that anybody fiddles with when it actually is automatically hooked to the house. Exactly, exactly. But since there's a button in front of us, can we turn it on? <laughs> Absolutely. One of the challenges of setting a generator in the yard is getting the gas feed to it. Absolutely. So one of your considerations is how far we are from the gas meter, and exactly. you want to get as close as possible because that's one you of the do. things that uh, changes Oh, it does the part of your install. Price. Exactly. When you have to make a long run with a lot of pipe and a lot of labor to run that, uh, you want to get it as close to your fuel source as you can. So ideally, a generator with all the right setbacks set as close to the electrical panel mm -hmm. and the gas meter as possible. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's the ideal set. So Pete, we've looked at the generator and it's got a gas line running to it and it's positioned well on the property. Now we're over here at the panel and the real key to this system is this interface between the electrical panel and the generator that's called the automatic transfer switch. What is that and tell us what it does. Yes, the generator is connected to the automatic transfer switch. The transfer switch is connected to the home. It is the brains that tells the generator to come on when the power goes off it also tells it to stop when Edison power comes back to your home. So this is the control over the whole system. Okay, so back at the star of the show here, these guys don't just magically appear. There was some work done ahead of time. Uh, some of the plants were cut back to make room for it here. There was a concrete pad poured for it here. Uh, there was some trenching done to get the gas line and the power line all connected. This is all stuff that happens before the generator shows up. Right. Every home is different, so we've got to make it fit for the best perfection for this and for the home. Now tell me, when this actually happens, when the power goes down, how long is my power gonna be off before the generator kicks in? It will be less than 10 seconds. Less than 10 seconds. Absolutely. What happens when the power comes back on and the generator is running? Then our automatic transfer switch tells the generator to shut down and we're back in business on the home. And there's nothing I have to do about it? Not at all, takes care of it all for you. Okay, so th this is a, uh, this is an engine in here mm -hmm. running the generator. I mean, at that, that the heart of the generator is an engine. Right. If I have got a classic car sitting in my garage uh, for two or three or four years and I never take it out and run it, on the day that I actually want to start it, mm -hmm. it's not going to happen. So what keeps the generator, let's say we luck out and we go four years without a, a power outage, mm -hmm. What keeps the generator ready to go? Very good. The fortunate thing in here is that it's a built-in exerciser. So you set the time and day that you'd like this generator to start on its own, run for a given amount of time, be it 15 minutes, then shuts itself off. So it keeps it exercised, keeps the belts and the hoses fresh, and the battery charger working on the battery inside. So how often do you would want to do that? Generally, you have to be uh, aware of the uh, AQMD and running for the uh, exhaust and emissions for it, but generally 15 minutes a month 
is enough to keep the generator exercising. So this generator will exercise itself? Yes. How often do we want it running? Yes, yeah, so that can be predetermined by you what you'd like so that the day and the time of day is set for that running. Generally 15 minutes a month is enough to keep the generator fresh and running and tested. Is there anything else about the, uh, the engine in here that needs attention other than the, the monthly cycling on? Mm -hmm. Yes, there is an annual maintenance that is done just like a car for an oil change and filters. We can set that up for you and do the annual services or you can do it yourself. Oh, so once a year, right. change the oil. Yes. That Great. is it. The nice thing about this system, just as we've shown you at uh, larger buildings when we bring a uh, generator or they have their own generators, just like their systems do, these things start themselves, stop themselves, and they do give information to protect themselves as well. So this system is virtually like you'll see in a large building. Awesome. All right, well, there you have it, everybody. If you have any other questions, make sure you can look around here on uh, DuffyPower.com. Go to the Ask Pete page and uh, bother Pete. He's happy to answer your questions at any time. And uh, give Duffy a call and set up your own estimate for your own generator. Pete, thanks, buddy. Thank you very much.